Every year around Halloween time, he comes to haunt your feed with his spooky dance moves. But what's the story behind this dancing pumpkin? Hi, I'm Adam Bozarth and welcome back to What's Trending. Be sure to like and subscribe for more of what's going on on the web. For almost a decade, this pumpkin man dancing in a green screen graveyard has charmed the internet every Halloween. But what do we know about him? Is he man? Is he pumpkin? Is he man pumpkin? Man pumpkin is actually comedian, TV host, and all around creative guy, Matt Geeler. In 2006, Matt was working at KXVO, a CW affiliate station in Omaha, Nebraska. Matt was working on a daily 10 o'clock news show that had a lot of extra time to fill and his bosses really didn't care how he filled it. WNYC reports, Geeler remembers the station's news director telling him, we only need a minute and a half of news up front and then you can do whatever you want. I don't care. Geeler's show had a microscopic budget of $1,000 for the entire year to create 22 minutes of programming five nights a week. For Halloween, Matt pitched this idea to his manager. I've got this one thing where I put on a unitard and a pumpkin head and dance at people's graves. I want to call it Happy Jack, the Grave Dancer. Great, his manager responded. And then the segment went up on YouTube where it did really nothing at all for a long time. YouTube was still in its infancy in 2006, but one of Geeler's producers uploaded the first pumpkin dance anyway. Quote, it was just this thing that was laying around for three years with 600 views, Geeler told WNYC. They did a follow-up that Christmas, mostly just to fill time again. Watch me. And again on Valentine's Day. You know, you're really getting the mileage out of that pumpkin mask now thousand bucks for the year. Gators can be feisty. He's got a little bit of romance in him. These guys actually do a mating dance. So all you fellows out there, they're going to take your girls out for dancing for Valentine's Day. You got some competition on your hands. So for many years, Happy Jack the Grave Dancer was not a viral hit until 2009. After popping up on Culture Blog Video Gum, the pumpkin dance video and its many remixes went viral, popping up on Huffington Post, BuzzFeed, and Entertainment Weekly, among many, many others. So are you a fan of Happy Jack? What's your favorite remix? Let us know in the comments section below. My favorite thing about Happy Jack is that his dancing works for literally every song. Does it work with All Star by Smash Mouth, Adam? Is that a song? Well then yes, it works. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. A Twitter account called Pumpkin Dances 2 remixes Happy Jack with all sorts of songs and it just works. Here's Happy Jack showing off his great raver moves. <laughs> he boogies to the nightmare before Christmas. This is Halloween, this is Halloween. He's even gonna rickroll you. It even works with the theme song to Netflix's Stranger Things. Oh my God, this is so spooky. Happy Jack has become part of modern Halloween. Many people dress up like Happy Jack for Halloween parties, including the WNYC reporter who interviewed Matt, as you can see here, and me too. It just works on me. I mean, let me tell you, there's something about the combination of a morph suit and a big plastic pumpkin that completely obscures all of your vision that really unleashes your inner dancer. You know, it's like dance like nobody is watching. Well, you should dance like there's a big pumpkin on your head and you can't see anyway. So where is Happy Jack now? He's right behind you! No, sorry. Matt brought Happy Jack out of retirement for the 2017 season of America's Got Talent, even debuting a sparkly new suit. Unfortunately, Happy Jack was cut a few weeks into the competition. For more news about the internet, just head to whatstrending.com. And happy Halloween!